Hey guys, it's Parker here, back at part 4 of Savvy Saturday Valhalla. You really like that website, huh? I have needs. Alright, let's go to work. Good evening. Hello. Duh. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots get more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, oh, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple years ago there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because Pistol is mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever, this is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! Heh. <laughs> oh, it's time to pick some music. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl named, nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have 80 dollars here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky part. <sighs> well, first of all, why well, assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugs so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course, you want all the deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under $80. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. Here. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said, maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? <sighs> I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, Mr... Bon Delay, Art Bon Delay. I'm a private detective, it's what I do. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so called reapers of the city. Two guns were hired that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with local going-ons. Well, let's see. Hmm. 
Sorry, can't think about anything right now. What's the conversation to see here and here aren't rumor worthy? Humor worthy maybe, but not much about current events, at least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it, what kind of bar is this we can't get a word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Gil might know something if we're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help you, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if we don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made me know would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find us soon enough, don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Alright, let's give him a grizzly temple. Here. Okay then, this is going to be detected for the $80 one really, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week is so as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her mid air makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from the rumors that the harbingers are going to cause trouble at a bank today. No, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the harbingers wasn't used. No good city outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging their organization yet for some reason. So I either want it though or somebody to know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson wasn't here for the last three days actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol sign. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful in me right now, but guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago, dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sound like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was something more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. S something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what makes the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there was some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Oh, well, I got to go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please, come again. Gangs, then? Unlikely, this is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in under gang seals. The who, what, now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He let me think about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering their bars. I don't think my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Well cut. Ah, it's Streamy Chan! Give me a loud video feed of my life and a bench is 24 7. Batch in time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $99.99. It's only $99.99 must go premium now. Um, it's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for Sturdy Chance Escape Pants. Today's Escape Pants is brought to you by ShinyFinger.mo, Moi, leaders of VR Adult Entertainment since 2069. Buy it here, premium membership, and you'll get a code. Let's change the code for a free trial of a VR experience model after yours truly. Excuse? Today, I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And 
sadly. It actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crapple bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter. Tonight, I'll give you an escape head you never forget. Hey, you! Where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very, very funny. Where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey, you! The pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No, no way! No hot, shirt sure guy playing with fire and serving drinks all farting with you? No sexy, sandy clad girl jimmy around the place? You're telling me you two, just like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem! Friday nights are peak viewing hours! I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is. Yeah, just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Is that person glare a no? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top off and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, and it's too late to even go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes, no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know, give me a drink. A big one, the nastiest ones you can think of. Um, hello, service here, please. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Mally and Promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Okay, let's go with the piano man. Here. All right then, cheers! I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last week, we held a party for the Save Far Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place is completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 corgis? Did you really start drinks to corgis? Tuxedo Clive talking corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else? What else? Uh, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson for the augmented eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the augmented eye interviewed me, actually. Uh, what did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one who interviewed me was small, meat girl with glasses. She seemed a bit better though, I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, have you seen a glass over there? Hmm, sure. The signature. Is this Kira Mickey's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really, we're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I tried to get a meeting with her and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does and shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high performance computer. Shine Spark! I found 
always a singer in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now. That aside, I was about to call Bush on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this class? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that would make it perfect is the pretty boy over there had a pass to the KGB. Ho ho to! Yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> okay, coming right up. Let's give her a... <laughs> a big bad touch. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine. I could pour it in a bit, that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, feels like the drink ought to come in a pallet glass or beat the stick white liquid. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. I uh, have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Further reminder that today's CIP is brought to you by Shining Finger Dog Moy. Leaders of VR Adult Entertainment since 2069. Buy an air of premium membership or a neat code. Set a code will net you a free trial of a VR experience on a model based on boy. Mwah. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shiny Finger asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more, I got my partnership, we all won. I even got him an ear of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's a music video to 3D models. Yeah, that's not a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the music gets. Eh, <laughs> You know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see those people. Oh, but they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of the viewers is a real person in real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A uh, childhood promise? Nah. A uh, religious vow? A uh, what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided on good to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happens, sorta. Oh, come on! No epic penny? Quarter life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <laughs> Look, life isn't always a young adult novel where a decision is a road cone. And that's the problem. What do my audience and teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch our streams? Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you could tell by yourself, Miss Bartender. Well, yes. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a dark soul, a really old little model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from a time when the collector source was in a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only one I'm seeing with a clear cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He'll disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. 
Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. I paid to see a movie like that. So, what happened to that finger? I, I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you have to you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up just even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. This bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Uh, okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. Okay, let's get her French weaver. So, light headedness, cozy tongue, palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. I can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs! <laughs> Alright, let's get her all with the loose stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Oh, I should do like a drunk voice. Uh, I say a B. Not big enough to feel hair, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. And don't be like that, I can tell you're B cup. Your attitude makes you think you're an S, and your behavior makes you think your butt is A, B. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Dad! Please let me get on with this. I need your cooperation. This is gonna be a success. Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if we're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess this is kind of redundant. Because you see, I drunk 24 7. Huh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the VR crowd silly raises us to take more risks and become very adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, I need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of her face. On all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I'm yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, know, when we're on the street, I'm just somebody really hot, you can't recall really their faces. But learn their name is somebody they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? We well, sort of once in 30 days, right? Um. Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And just this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before starting off and continuing tonight. If you'll excuse me. Should I call a cab? I risk waking her up, leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I need to kick her at this battery. Alright. It is break time. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be a dynamite. It sounded more like a heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that damn it! 
Oh, uh, welcome back. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time I came, but maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's a diamond or something like that. Now you too. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See, those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, he had more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell, I have a beer too. Two beers, coming right up. Alright, it's spitting two beers. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So, tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brand during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came with all the dogs, it's quite a change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Joe. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Eh, bag it, premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming alive 24 7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So, 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still on the channel though. I see. So, there will be a lot more witnesses if something said. Do any of you have a criminal pass? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted gravity outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson is a cunt. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her crushes wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently stuck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's a textile company where the owner believes herself to be an apaca. Oh yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But, but anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the hire of some designs. After a couple of talks, we decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs are embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they're approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, I'll have a brantini. Two brantinis then. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, Theo. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Yeah. Something on your mind? That girl that's designed in the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkept cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. 
You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? kick? Betty, I didn't think I had to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential and I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's her boss, right? Didn't she beat her before? Nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs are the ones that organized the meeting with her. I say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants are all about her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Huh. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have the hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have to have it trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby, you made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I- I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much really, mostly that you're too polite. Not a natural polite though, more like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts is interesting. You seemed interested in what I said, like you'd like to see the scenario. You're thinking too much. Uh, what do you think about Gil- Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Heh <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment would be caught it by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and your drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Mountain drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. Two strong drinks. Mountain drinks. Okay. <laughs> Here. Now, drink! Duh. Oh, man up, you'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank? Jill? First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all pranked by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just with kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question though? Uh, um. I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. And for somebody else, I pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it. As a practical joke. Well, I suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels generally offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. I I see what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. The Girl Scouts also tell me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about it, she probably won't feel offended. 
She know which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Joe. Bye. Hey, it's coming in. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm really Murray. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as Sid. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of it as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didger-redo tutorial. Hello, Jill. Ah, oh, Stella, you here for another drink today? Not really, I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Uh, anyway, I found this model being neglected at my house. I thought someone who likes old decor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I... I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. This Justin. Huh? The Polo Trust Bank has locked the stores, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh God, save! I wonder if she'll be alright. Oh, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Joe. Did you see the news about the Polo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil sort on just a minute ago, though. I, I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Jamie wants a Mars Blast. One Mars Boss. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Boss have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still his nickname. VR, can't believe I'm rah, rah, myself. Hey, this is Girl. She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24 7. I'm guessing your equipment is still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey boss, the explosions are caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info, he thought there were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can't be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank has calls like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know, maybe it's the hour, maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright, let's get a beer then. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. 
Yeah, I feel very theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks are ubiquitous as well as feasting. They help to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and, effectively, that new someone's inside your face. You'll still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'll be the same as coding, huh? Imagine if Cyrus face self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess this is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the editor, only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here, instead of living in a place where there is no disease. It will scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that would effectively kill the person. They use the words burn the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about leaving brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Joe. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Phew, all done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano combo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano combo? Is that that expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked him for it. He up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what would the Nanocombo model change from her apartment? I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked my Kotatsu too. You have a Kotatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed that you know what it is. I mean, Bhutans are common knowledge, but at Kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how I decorate the place to that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. <laughs> I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. We did it. My voice kind of died at the end. <laughs> okay, that'll be it for part 4 of Savvy Saturday Valhalla. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with Persona 2 on Tuesday.